<laughs> ceramic storage. What the? In which is aspect? That? Like dishware? No. Like ceramic, what is ceramic storage, as in data storage, as in. So why would you call it ceramic? Because ceramic. Because is it's material using ceramics to do storage instead of like tape or disc or SSD. So you're riding onto the ceramic something. Yes. So okay. ceramic is becoming a motherboard in a way or a no, memory storage? It's coming a memory storage. Like I, S- I, like I said you drive. I know you sent me the link I never looked at it. What what okay, so what is SSD written on? Solid state? Yeah, so solid state so drive. Think what of, is that think memory of, written on? Think of solid state drives, kind of like uh, RAM. Yeah, but what is it written on? It it's written on it's written on uh, silicon storage. Silicon. Okay, so instead of silicon, it the silicon is being replaced with ceramic. ceramic. Cer- but so, ceramic is breakable. So, I know I broke a ceramic plate earlier this week. <clears throat> ceramic, if you drop a wait, hammer on ceramic wait. tile, it breaks too. A technology startup has made startling claims for its innovative ceramic nano layer based storage, Cerobyte, asserts it will disrupt the 500 billion storage market by reducing data center storage TCO by 75%. How does it make it smaller? So, from what I briefly read about, and from what I understand, is instead of using traditional storage, i.e., like like for long term storage, especially, mm-hmm. um, because tape is long term storage still to this day in 2024, tape technology has continued to progress. So, if you're long term storage, because a lot of people don't know, but like SSD storage and disk storage has the potential to have data loss on it. Right. However, ceramic storage is supposed to be able to write faster, to write larger. And we're talking about not twice terabyte. Long. We're not talking about petabyte. We're talking about eventually a exobyte. A nanomemory is what we're talking about. So what is exobyte? An exobyte? Is we're, the next step past petabyte. So reading through what you just sent me, the little article, essentially what we're talking about is Talking about ceramic memory. So now we're talking about nano nano memory. We're talking about nanobytes, which is touching on what he was talking about byte wise. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about something that's recyclable, something that is reusable, something that can so the so what's happening at the basic level. Explain to me like I'm five. It's laser writing the memory down on ceramic. Yes. And what this is doing, and fuck you, I read faster than you. <laughs> this is off camera topic. <laughs> No, you don't. So, essentially... He, really, he listens faster than you. But the laser writes down everything that needs to be written down memory-wise. And what this does is lays down this specific amount of information that is recyclable, can be reused elsewhere if the ceramic breaks. So it's something that can be used across the board. That And, and they've, they've come up with multiple ways. Some of it is ceramic overlaid over, like, tape. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of it is like a ceramic cylinder. It's sustainable over time. Based it off... is sustainable over time because ceramics don't break down like a lot of our other medias do. Correct. And this is specifically based off the particle beam that the laser sends. Well, but it's not just later. Like it goes into laser etching as well as particle etching. Correct. There's two which different has two etching. different right. Exactly. Qualities. We're talking about two different right qualities onto this ceramic. That makes it so we break, for example, you break ceramic when you're, you drop a pan or not a pan, you drop a plate or a bowl and it breaks. You can still use this. It's recyclable into the data because the data was written onto it. Like this is an, it's an insane amount of knowledge being th- information thrown it, onto something. And it reduces the overall cost. Because everything we've had that we use for data storage now gone cost wise. Well, well, but like cost wise is like we ceramics have been around forever, and ceramics are cheap to produce, mm-hmm. right? Especially in modern. I times. think the oldest ceramic we have is Asia, and before yeah, and that, that that's, 
we possibly have South America. And that's like 2,000, 3,000 years two, before AD? Two to five. Two to five. Somewhere in between yeah. there. And, and it, it doesn't deteriorate like all of our other media does. Well, yeah, because we have ceramics from two to five thousand years old that have been proven to as like, oh, it has this blast from, oh, they had a giant battle here. If we can store the data on ceramics, that's I Especially if they can get to the read right yeah. fucking qualities that they're talking about. Because holy shit, bro, like it is impressive. Like we're talking about replacing all storage media with it. Right? Something that is easily attainable, cheaper in cost. Because yep. even what I was reading in the article, substantially cheaper in cost. Because mm-hmm. what you're talking about is spending the money on the light of the laser. You're, the you're talking about powering the laser more than anything else. Pr- and producing producing the ceramics is negligible in comparison. It's a fraction of the cost. I mean, we're talking about terabytes being spent Pet- for... Petabytes? Petabytes. Exobytes. They were talking about exobytes. Damn. And we're talking about millions of dollars being spent. <clears throat> which, which... You a, can buy a petabyte, I think it was like... A, a terabyte is a thousand gigs. Right. A petabyte is a thousand ter... A, which means that an exobyte should be a thousand heads. 